One of the best things about virtual reality is the multiplayer. So today we're talking about the best multiplayer games on the Quest 2. There's a lot of games, so I'm going to go kind of quickly through this. Let's start off with the Mac Daddy of multiplayer games, in my opinion, on the Quest 2, and that's Demio, or Demio, however you say it. Demio is an RPG dungeon crawler, where you'll gather with your friends around a tabletop table and work your way through dungeons to complete the books. With consistent updates, a massive amount of fun. If you love tabletop games or maybe you've always wanted to try one, this is a fantastic choice. Such a blast. It's a crazy amount of fun and it's why Demio is on this list. Next, let's talk one of the most popular free multiplayer games on the Quest 2, Echo VR. By the way, these games are not in any specific order and it's all official Quest games. I may do an App Lab multiplayer game at some point, but Echo VR is a arena multiplayer sports type game. It's futuristic where you have to throw the disc through the goal in zero gravity. Lots of fun. You punch other players in the head to disable them as you fly through space using your thrusters, grabbing onto the sidewalls and to the obstacles and throwing yourself forward. It's a wonderful amount of fun and it's free, which is fantastic. So if you haven't played it, definitely check it out. Next up, there aren't really a lot of racers on the Quest 2, so I kind of wanted to add a racer and I went with Dash Dash World. It may not be the best game when it comes to racers, but it's probably the best multiplayer racing game on the Quest platform. This is a kart racer in the vein of Mario Kart, where you'll drive a kart around crazy outlandish tracks while picking up weapons like rubber chickens or Gatlin guns and shooting at your opponents. There is something like 13 tracks, it's got 8 player multiplayer, and it really is a blast. Next up, kind of a unique multiplayer game in that this is not a online multiplayer, as this is not a VR to VR multiplayer, but a VR to mobile device multiplayer. Akron Attack of the Squirrels is one of the most unique multiplayer games on the Quest, and it actually allows one player to play in VR and other multiple players to play on mobile devices, which is a really cool mechanic. It means that the next party you have, if you have one headset, you can have one person be the tree and the others be the squirrels trying to steal the golden acorns. It's a great couch party game, and it's a super unique way to play multiplayer with virtual reality, while also allowing other people outside of VR to join in as well. Next up, one of the newer games on this list is Zenith The Last City. If you're into online MMORPGs, then you're looking in the right place. This is a full-on MMORPG in virtual reality where you'll complete missions, join in with friends for raids, explore dungeons. It can be extremely addicting, but again, this is a really fun online MMORPG if that is what you're looking for. Next, let's talk online shooters, and Contractors is at the top of my list. Contractors is the essentially Call of Duty of virtual reality on the Quest platform. In fact, you can actually play custom maps now and play Call of Duty maps. It's consistently getting updates, including the more recent Hazard update, which adds in zombie mode. And when you play on Call of Duty maps, it really feels like you're playing Call of Duty in virtual reality. They have huge ground war battles with 16 players online. So if you're looking for a Call of Duty style shooter, on the Quest, this is the game you're looking for. Since we're on the theme of shooters, I wanted to mention another shooter that's fantastic, and that is Onward. There's a huge difference between Contractors and Onward. Onward is more of a realistic shooter. This game, though, is more realistic. There's minimal, if any, HUD. It doesn't take many shots to die, and you have to work with your team in a tactical way to actually play through this game. It is a lot of fun if you can be tactical and you can take it seriously in some manner at least. Next up, if you love bowling or Wii Bowling or if you even love real life bowling, Forever Bowl is my favorite bowling game in VR. Technically, there's only two on the quest, but in my opinion, this one is the most fun, even if sometimes the mechanics don't work perfectly. It's got a lot of really fun bowling balls. The lanes are hilarious. The multiplayer works great. It's just a grand time to play and I wanted to include some of these games that are unique for virtual reality and Forever Bowl is one of them. Another really fun game that doesn't get talked about as much is Iron Lights. Iron Lights is a multiplayer sword combat game. There is a single player game as well, but the multiplayer is where it's at. There are multiple different classes, whether you want a rapier or a great sword or even a bow staff. This game essentially works in slow motion for slow mo melee combat. You'll block your opponent's attacks and then get your chance to attack. It's a unique style of gameplay and it ends up being more of a mind game 
when you try to decide how you're going to attack, when you're going to attack. So if you like sword combat multiplayer games, this is definitely something you should be looking into. Next, let's talk a music game with Synth Riders. This is actually one of my favorite music games on the Quest. It's got some of the best music and some of the coolest environments, in my opinion, and it is multiplayer too. It's got great music, the mechanics are fun, and it's really fun to play competitively against people in multiplayer in Synth Riders. Next up, A Township Tale. I played this on the channel a while back, and it's really a lot of fun. It's not for everyone, but A Township Tale is great to create a server and invite your friends. You level up, complete missions together. It's cool. You can craft stuff, harvest stuff, cut down trees. There's a lot going on here. Like I said, it's not for everyone, but if you're looking for that type of game where you go back time after time and work with people to rebuild like this town city type of place, go into mines and mine for materials and go find trees to get trees, then this is definitely a lot of fun. Next up, another newer game in After the Fall. After the Fall is a zombie shooter game. You go on runs to different locations, either in single player or much better in multiplayer, where you fight against the snow breed, a unique type of zombie that is based in the snow. The guns are really cool in the game. The upgrade system is really cool and it's fun to play through and go on runs to upgrade your equipment and join it with friends just to slay some zombies. This next game is a pretty unique shooter called Hyper Dash. Hyper Dash actually will have you grinding on rails while you shoot against the opponents. The movement is one of the best parts about this game as you literally dash around, zip across the grinding rails while you're firing at the same time. It's got all the modes you would expect like team death match, capture the flag, control point. A pretty unique online shooter that's really fun to play. Next up is kind of a shooter in Blast On, but this is a unique one where you'll be bobbing and weaving to jump out of the way of your enemy's projectiles. It's a 1v1 game where you will face off against an opponent with weapons spawning around you. You have to grab the weapons and try to fire them at your opponent. It is a game of skill and of stamina. You'll be jumping and moving around. The projectiles do move in slow motion, but that doesn't mean that it's easy. It's a really fun mechanic and a really fun game. Next up is probably one of the best absolute best multiplayer games on the Quest 2 bar none, and that is Walkabout Mini Golf. This is just awesome. It's simply miniature golf in virtual reality with some really cool courses. You collect hidden balls to be able to get new balls to be able to hit. It's got really accurate physics that work really well, and it's just really well done. Great way to play with friends online with up to five people. I mean, who doesn't love miniature golf? Next, let's talk Battle Royale. Population 1 is the Fortnite of virtual reality, essentially. That's either a good thing or a bad thing, depending on how you feel about the Battle Royale genre. But if you're looking for Battle Royale, Population 1 is right up your alley. Really cool climbing and gliding mechanics, weapons, upgrades, all these really cool stuff. Just everything you'd expect to see in a Battle Royale game. Unfortunately, that does mean it also includes in-game purchases. But, you know, that kind of comes with the territory. You kind of expect that if you're playing a Battle Royale game at this point. Next up, let's talk sports with Eleven Table Tennis. Eleven Table Tennis is probably the most realistic table tennis simulator I've ever played in my life. It is spot on from a physics standpoint. You have no idea how many people I've heard that have tried leaning on the table because they forget they're in VR. The multiplayer is really fun just to jump in and hang out and play with friends or with strangers. Not much else to say except for 11 Table Tennis is really a great ping pong table tennis game. So if you want that, this is it. Next up is Knock. This is a unique multiplayer sports game where you use a bow and arrow to hit the ball and try to shoot it into the goal. It's kind of been compared to Rocket League in some ways, but without vehicles, you glide around the arena and shoot your bow and arrow at the ball to try to hit it into the goal. They've even got updates coming where you can actually hit the opponents and send them flying, which looks pretty awesome as well. This is probably the most relaxing multiplayer game on the Quest 2, and that is Real VR Fishing. Real VR Fishing is just fantastic. Again, one of those games, it's a must play. Even if you don't like to fish in real life, the scenery is fantastic. They've got new updates that have come out since launch and that are coming out in the future. The best part though really is jumping in in multiplayer and hanging out. You can go to your lodge, you can jump to a location and both fish. Overall, really, the graphics are so realistic. You can actually sit down in a chair and play and talk to someone 
that's in another boat next to you and feel like you're really fishing with them. This next game is a game I included because I think a lot of people forget that this actually has multiplayer, and this is Death Horizon Reloaded. It may not be the best zombie game on the Quest 2, but it can be a lot of fun, especially if you're playing in co-op, which this game does have. And the fact that it's a zombie shooter, one of the few that actually has co-op included on the Quest 2, I really wanted to put it on this list because the development team is awesome and because it is a zombie co-op shooter. Next, let's talk another couple music games in Ragnarok. I love Ragnarok. Probably my favorite game on the Quest 2 for music. I love synth writers, but Ragnarok is something totally different. The music in Ragnarok just makes you feel like an epic Viking as you play to move the boat forward. And that comes into multiplayer where you race against other people trying to be the boat that leads the way and wins the race in multiplayer. It's really fun in multiplayer. And let's mention one more game that really can't be left out that's a music game, and that obviously is Beat Saber. There is multiplayer in Beat Saber. After spending a lot of time with people asking for multiplayer, it finally did come out. I am absolutely terrible at Beat Saber. I actually stand a chance at something like Ragnarok, but a lot of people really enjoy multiplayer in Beat Saber, and it is really cool, so I put it on the list. Also, who could forget Golf Plus? Starting off as Pro Putt, Golf Plus is now the ultimate way to play golf in virtual reality, even giving you the option to play PGA rated real life courses. Not only is it great in single player, it is extremely fun in multiplayer, whether you want to hang out on the driving range, play some top golf, or play a full 18 hole course. Golf Plus is the ultimate golf experience in virtual reality, and it's an incredibly fun multiplayer experience as well. This last game may not be the best game on the Quest 2, but it deserves a place because it's just stupid fun, and that's Path of the Warrior. This is like Double Dragon or Streets of Rage in VR. It's not perfect, but it's hilarious, and it's fun, and it's great to play in multiplayer because it just makes you feel like you're jumping into an arcade machine playing through these crazy levels against these crazy bosses together with a friend. Well, there you go. That's a lot of multiplayer games on the Quest platform. Like I said, this is not in any specific order, and this is all just official Quest store games. What are your thoughts, though? What are your favorite multiplayer Quest games? Let me know down in the comments what you think. If I left something off the list that should have been on here, if you don't agree with one of these games on this list, whatever your thoughts are, let me know down in the comments. And if you want to get the most out of your Quest and your Quest 2, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down there and the bell icon for notifications. And you can check out more of my videos right there on the screen. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and happy questing.